Hello, my name is Jonathan, call sign Shooter, and I am the co-founder of Tethunda Stridsflygsdivisionen, a Swedish DCS squadron. Today I will take a gander at one of the more important aspects of simulation, meaning head tracking. Now, if you watched any of my previous DCS videos, you will notice that I already own a head tracking solution, a track IR camera paired with a wireless Dellen clip fusion. So, I'm obviously using something I feel is already working for me. Why am I here making a video about the Toby Eye Tracker? There are several reasons. The first one obviously being that the Track AR camera requires a sensor to be worn as a cap or on a headset. There are times I would like to fly but not use a headset. The wireless version also requires it to be charged regularly and it is very annoying just to have it die on you during an intense dogfight. Another tricky thing about head tracking is that once you get used to it, it's almost impossible to fly without it. But that is why we are here, keeping track of our options. I had intended for this video to test both the Eye Tracker 4 and Eye Tracker 5 with DCS World, but alas. There turned out to be no contest. Calibrating the Eye Tracker 4, I quickly noticed that the software was unwilling to work with my preferred seating arrangements, and my eyes were not tracked at all. So this test will be with the Eye Tracker 5 only, the latest hardware as of the making of this video. Calibrating that one was no problem at all, and for DCS World, I simply imported a profile and tuned up the sensitivity to my preferred levels. In order to properly induce a heart attack into the Toby community manager who inevitably is going to have to watch this, I am not using the Toby eye tracker with any sort of the actual display mount. I know they are included in the package, but this is a borrowed device. I didn't get anyone with the actual lending. So I put it on a, a bunch of books under my 32 inch display and it means I can only test it below the screen. I do not have the heart to simply tape it to the top of it. But uh, keep that in mind as I am going forward. The basic test for me is, will starting up the Saab Vegan feel natural to me? And the answer is both yes and no. Yes, because the head tracking obviously works well. No, because I am so used to the track AR settings that any deviation just feels weird. This is, of course, not Toby's fault. This is me who needs to calibrate the Toby Eye Tracker to match what I'm used to. But so far I haven't been able to replicate the exact settings, and I feel I have to mention this in case I never do. Following a target with the eye tracker is simple enough, and aircraft that carry helmet sights will be able to use these without too much problems. The same can be said for following targets during attack runs. I do not feel that it that much of a difference from the track IR, and I'm trying to ignore what difference I feel for an objective opinion. A major concern with the eye tracker is, however, the fact that it will track what is front of your face, regardless if you want it to or not. Drinking, rubbing your hands together, or pretty much anything that covers the sensor's view of your head will disrupt it. Of course, this happens with the track AR as well, but motion there is prevented, not captured. And the result is that my pilot looks like he has some sort of seizure. This is the kind of thing I would love to see if mounting the sensor on top of the display may prevent, but I digress. I have little opportunity to test that at this time. Another thing I simply do not like is how short the USB cable is. I can use it with my computer, or if I need, I can connect it via my keyboard. But the cable is strained, and for a, a device such as this, I would say it is uh, far too short. In conclusion, this is not the condemnation it may sound like when I say I will probably not replace my track IR. I borrowed this sensor from Cruxel Esports and I already have a working solution in place. 
If my Track IR camera were to break down, I would probably go for a Toby Eye Tracker 5 rather than any of the homegrown solutions using the PS3 camera. But for me, at this time, I would be hesitant to put money down to replace something that I feel already works well. This is, once again, not a condemnation of the Toby Eye Tracker 5. I am frankly surprised at how well it works without any sort of head sensor, and it is also compatible with a wide range of games from Euro Truck Simulator, that is just proof that I can never have a driving license, Hitman, that I am very into at the moment, or even my old favorite game, Ghost Recon. If you are looking for a head tracking for DCS World, the Toby Eye Tracker is a somewhat expensive, but in all respects effective tool that will probably be easier to purchase than anything else on the market right now. I want to thank my friend Ludwig at Cruxel Esports for the opportunity to try this one out. And if you want to get one yourself, you can find a link to Toby's website in the description. I will see you on Sundays at 8 o'clock when we fly with the squadron as usual.